Hey everyone, it's Lady Creed. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I do pray and hope that you and your families are all doing well. Well, I've come on to do a video response for Veronica's Try It Tuesday with Veronica. Hey, sunshine. <laughs> you all, this is round three for me and I'm glad about it. And I know that I've been having fun um, checking off some things on my crafty bucket list. And I know you've been having fun as well. Okay, so if you read the title of this video it says try it tuesday with veronica when it all comes together yes <laughs> so you all i will have to put this disclaimer out there what i'm about to share with you i had already uploaded this video but on my end my video seemed a bit distorted and so i deleted the video so i do apologize for any of you that um, have already seen this video um, i'm going to share with you the exact same thing so um if you want to do like a little drive by and <laughs> just fast forward to the end i'm okay with you doing so if you want to leave a comment please do so i welcome it um, but i did want my sunshine to see this video and what i created um, to check off my crafty bucket list okay so let's get started let me share with you what i pulled out to use okay so i pulled out an oldie but goodie this is tim Holtz distress stain candied apple how many of you have those distress stains and they've just been sitting okay this is spice marmalade marmalade <laughs> this is twisted citron this is hickory smoke this is fossilized amber and this is Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and this is the clear. Okay, so I also created with some blessings. <laughs> you know I love creating with blessings. I pulled out these sequin bowls that Sunshine herself blessed me with. Thank you, Sunshine. I've been hoarding those because <laughs> that's all I have of those. I pulled out some seam binding that my Chrissy Poo Christine blessed me with. Hey, Chrissy. And I used the white love that um, she granted my wish with blessing me with that seam binding i also pulled out some rosettes that tara finch blessed me with hey tara um i used two of them out of here thank you tara i also pulled out some <clears throat> excuse me some rosettes that nurse tara blessed me with thank you tara and i used one from here this is like a fall um, set of rosettes and i pulled out some bowls some felt bows that my sis Vanessa blessed me with. Hey, Vanessa. <laughs> Love those bows. Okay, you all. So I'm so excited about this Try It Tuesday because I followed a tutorial from Nurse Tara herself where she did a flower bee dangle tutorial. Oh my goodness, you all. I've always um, kept that tutorial in my favorites to try and I finally tried it. I also pulled out some other material or in um, accessories as well. And I'll get to that in just a second. Let me reveal what I have here on my tray. So let's start out with my tassel. Ah! <laughs> you all, I have always wanted to create... Um, a chunky tassel if you will <laughs> but this is mickey inspired so you all know how much i adore and love mickey <laughs> and so as you see here these are the colors of mickey mouse um well you know especially his clothes and his little boots if you will <laughs> But you all, I love how it turned out. So as you see here, I have one eighth ribbon. I have black ribbon, um, black with white polka dots. I have some pom-pom trim. I have some eyelash trim. I've been having this black eyelash trim in my stash. Um, I also use some this ribbon here with the little um, beaded little thin pieces. I use some organza um here's a ribbon here really pretty if you can see that um i used some gross grain i also used red with white polka dots 
yellow with white polka dots. It is just so pretty, you all. And here is my sequin bow that Veronica blessed me with. If you see right here, bouncing off that shiny, there's Mickey head <laughs> with my initial L in the center for Lucrecia. <laughs> if you see here, I dangled a Mickey charm. Oh, I bought that from the Stamp Expo um, convention. And there's a charm that says love. And this is the only ring that I had here. Uh, which is a key ring. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but it's okay because I am going to dangle this from my bag. But you all, I love how it turned out. Now, I do wish she had a little more meat on the bones. <laughs> but again, I really like it. I love it, you all. Oh, here's the back so you can see how I finished it off. I love it. So, yay, I finally created a tassel. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And, oh, I'm so excited about these. Chrissy Pooh, if you're watching, you will be proud of me because I have stained me some seam binding oh my goodness you all look at it <laughs> this is the um spice marmalade this is the um um uh, fossilized amber candied apple um this is the twisted citron and this is the hickory smoke and i'm not sure if you can see that sparkle kind of bouncing off of this you all but it's so pretty. I don't know if you can really see it, but it really is gorgeous. And you all, I'm so excited that I finally, finally um, stained me some seam binding. Look at those colors. So rich and pretty and vibrant. And I cannot wait to do some more. So yay. <laughs> I tried it and it worked out. Okay, so you all, that's my distressed seam binding or stained seam binding and next up is my flower bean dangles that um, I followed the tutorial from Nurse Tara so here you go here is the pink and oh my goodness I love it <laughs> so what do you mean Cree when it all comes together so here is the rosette that Tara Finch blessed me with. I love it because she created it using like some gingham um, pattern paper. So it worked perfectly with the felt bow that Vanessa blessed me with. And there is my dangle. So basically with these flower dangles, you've taken the stem of the flower and you're wire wrapping them. And there you go. <laughs> so um, the bees came out of my stash. Mm -hmm. Yep, sure did. I didn't um, go on michaels.org or joannes.net or hobbylobby.com to order any bees. I used lucretia's.stash beads. <laughs> I used what I had. So there's a pink one here. This is a wild orchid craft flower. And I just love that, you all. You see that? That is so, so pretty. And I cannot wait to put it on a project. Okay, so here's another one. And this one is using a um, rose hip bud wild orchid craft flower. And there's my bee spacer there and my pearl. And you see where I wrapped up the stem. Okay. So there's the pink. Okay. So you already know I had to do one in my favorite colors. <laughs> Oh, yes, there's the bow that Vanessa blessed me with. And look at that flower dangle. So pretty. And here's one here that I can use if I want to send out some Happy Mail. And as you see, there's the flower um, stem wrap there. So pretty. <laughs> okay, so here are some blue and yellow ones that I did not dangle from a a uh, rosette or a flower but here you go it's ready to go i love that look at the color of that bead it's yellow and turquoise and then this one here but i used a uh, cherry blossom flower wild orchid craft 
Oh, so pretty. I cannot wait to put these on some projects. Okay, so I created a fall theme one. Oh, I love this one, you all. I'll bring it close so you can see it. Look at that. <laughs> this is a fall rosette from Nurse Tara. And I love this rosette because it actually has pumpkins on there. And I like how she added um, a little gold center there to kind of pop off from this orange bow. And I love how that turned out. So, so pretty. And actually, you all, I did put a sequin on there. And so this one is using a cherry blossom flower as well. And then look at that so pretty <laughs> i love that cannot wait to put that on a project pardon my reach but i do have to reach around the camera and then here are two more now i love this one you all because i actually pulled out my wood beads i love how that turned out love 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 this one so pretty again another cherry blossom and here you go again so so pretty i love how these turned out you all okay so that was my orange one okay let me get the purple lavender back here and so here you go again this is using a rosette that tara finch blessed me with <laughs> and as you see that dangle there oh it's so pretty <laughs> i love it you all i love it cannot wait to put these on a project okay so that's that one and then here are some that are not attached to a bow or a rosette just yet oh so pretty and in tara's video she did use a heart um bead in there so i had one in my stash and then here's another one using the rose hip bud. So these are ready to go for me to dangle off some projects. <laughs> and there it is, you all. It all came together. And um, it came together with me um, using my blessings that was given to me. Veronica, ah! I love my projects, girly. I love them. And so once again i tried it and it all came together i love it well you all i pray that you were inspired by my projects and um yeah i i love what i've did what i've done <laughs> All right, you all. Well, the link to Veronica's channel will be in the description box below. Also, the flower bee dangle tutorial will be in the description box below for um, Nurse Tara. And I think you will enjoy it because I did. And I'm certainly going to make some more of these dangles. All right, you all. Until next time, be encouraged. Bye-bye.